14 people have died this year at Rikers Prison as a result of what government officials and journalists are calling inhumane living conditions. This news makes me angry for multiple reasons. I will list a few, but there are so many reasons why I'm pissed off about this news. First, calling a prison inhumane is redundant as calling an ocean watery. The only way prisons can ever be humane is if they are shut down and turned into community gardens where we can grow weed on. Second, the amount of power that prison guards have over imprisoned people is absolutely disgusting. One of the reasons why this issue is such, why the issue in Rikers has gotten so bad is because prison guards have been taking a lot of time off, which means there aren't staff there to make sure imprisoned people have basic needs. Um, they're not even having people there to make sure that people meet their court trials on time, which has led to suicide. So that's really terrifying. Now, I'm all for workers' rights. Y'all know me. If you don't know me, I'm a huge workers' rights uh, person. And I think that workers should have the break that they need. And my honestly, biggest advice for workers is always to make sure that you do as little work as possible. That's how I feel about workers. But I don't think prison guards are actually workers. I don't treat them as workers. I think prison guards are evil class traders who should not take vacations. I'm sorry, that's the line that I draw. Lastly, the reason why Rikers, the situation in Rikers makes me so mad is that despite the fact that most of the people in Rikers haven't been found guilty of a crime. Yeah, these are people who are just in there. They haven't been found guilty of a crime, which honestly shouldn't matter because no one should be in prison. But my point is that these people, even based on our justice system, which is not really just, haven't been really found guilty of a crime or being held in there. And Mayor de Blasio is refusing to let these people go, even though that would reduce a lot of the overcrowding, which has led to people being forced to poop in bags. Yeah. So Mayor de Blasio obviously doesn't care about the imprisoned people in Rikers. And he's probably just like, what's wrong with poop bags? Amazon workers use them, which is honestly very fucked up. Um, so those are my feelings about the situation in Rikers. I think it's messed up. I think all prisons should be shut down, on, honestly, not just Rikers. But currently, the situation in Rikers is out of control. And it's just really upsetting. Um, so I want to bring up somebody to help me, you know, talk about my feelings about the situation in Rikers currently. Uh, please welcome to the show a very good friend of mine who is also a writer, an educator, and an anti-rape activist, and honestly, just like general badass. Please welcome to the show, Wagatwe. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Wagatwe. Hi, thanks for having me again. Happy to be here. I and love angry. Oh, yeah, we can be angry together. <laughs> All right, so well, God, wait, something that I like to do, and you know this already, before I let uh, the guests tell us their feelings about the news is that I like the audience to know what your politics are so they know whether they should honestly trust you or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Very so, fair. <laughs> so just so that we can figure out what your political viewpoints are, I would like for you to rank and order the following people in what way you'd like them to be president and it, on who you prefer to have as president. One being the person you prefer the most and obviously the last person being the person who you prefer the least. So these are the people okay. who I want you to rank in terms of who you think should be president of the United States of America. Now, oh, so a couple of options, not a couple, a few options. Your middle school bully. <laughs> Which one? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can rank them. You can rank your middle school bullies if you want. Okay. Your weed person. If you don't have a weed person, pick a similar substitute. Your favorite cousin or Trump. You have to rank those from one to four based on who you think uh, should be, you prefer to have president. I feel like this is hard because I'm like, my first thought was like, the United States shouldn't exist. <laughs> Yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> that is the right answer. That is the right answer. Any question is the United States shouldn't exist, but I'm not going to let you out of this. You're going to have to rank these. So yeah. Oh no. For the audience, what I'm going to order or of who she prefers to be president. Middle school okay. bully, a weed person, or a substitute, her favorite cousin, or Trump. Okay, so I would probably put my favorite cousin number one because, you know, I feel like I can influence them. Um, oh, so you want to be a back, like you want to be an autocrat in the background. Gotcha. I mean, I feel like I can help with us, like, you know, getting some treaties honored again and stuff like that. I'll be like, Psst, you know, like okay. land back. Stuff oh, like I that. Love that. So you're gonna use yeah, yeah. Back. Okay, yeah, back. yeah, like stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> like dissolve the United States. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 
probably my weed person number two. Okay. Because how could someone be terrible if they bring so much joy to my life? Um, (laughs) Number three, middle school bully for sure. Because they can't be worse than Trump. They just can't. Yeah. Well, what's the worst thing that your middle school bully ever did to you? <sighs> See, I'm trying to even... Re- like, the thing is, I feel like I blocked out so much because they're so irrelevant. The only thing... <laughs> the only thing I can remember is that... But the thing is, I didn't fall for it, so it wasn't even that bad. But um, the kids, like, created some plan to try to have the, like, most popular kid pretend he have a crush on me to, like, set me... Yeah! I did not fall for it. I was so proud of myself. Isn't that messed up? That is Is so mean and like every single movie plot. See, this is the thing that I don't like about movies. They teach kids how to be evil. Because it's like no kid ever thought about that until they saw it in a movie. And they're like, let's do it. Yeah. And it was also like a racial component because it was like mostly white kids. And I'm like the black girl. Like I didn't think about it in the moment. But looking back, I'm like, oh, that's also really messed up. (laughs) Yeah. They were racist and mean. Like. Which not a good combo are mean again redundant right so true but, okay Brooks well Kenya. i do like the ranking that you had i like thank using you your cousin to give indigenous people their land back okay yeah. second uh question to help people know what your politics are which mm-hmm. of the following is the best scenario for a group project for you everyone works collaboratively so this is a group project whether in middle school high school college okay. <laughs> everyone okay. works collaboratively no one but you does the work, which is great because you don't trust those idiots with your grades. Third one is you let one person do everything because they want to. And then the last one is none of the above. All group projects suck and they should never happen. Okay, so first I was like, okay, I would say number one. I was tempted for number four, but I realized it's not that group projects suck. I love it's with the right people under the right circumstances, right? So I like working collaboratively, actually, because it gives you different points of view, um, less work on me. Like, I don't want to do all the work. I'm too lazy now. Maybe if I was younger, I'd be like, yeah, I'll do all it. No, please. Let's. Oh, you suck at it. That's fine. I'll have a lower grade. I don't care. Grades don't matter. (laughs) Perfect. So what I'm hearing from you is abolish schools what i'm hearing from you is abolish the uh, united states of america what i'm hearing from you is land back so what i'm hearing from you is that your politics should be trusted okay so now we can go we can go on to your feelings because i feel like your feelings are coming from the right place okay so let's talk about this whole prison uh situation that's happening in rikers i guess my first question for you is like how do you feel about prisons in general and do you think what do you think is more redundant inhumane prisons or watery ocean you can answer in the order <laughs> that you like in Inhu- i mean definitely inhumane prisons when i heard that i was like mm, right because it's like this is inherently bad like what else do you expect so yeah i definitely feel like a abolition now what the fuck this is just it just makes me think about how criminalization is a tool right because like you pointed out it doesn't matter whether they're innocent or not right like this is bad no matter what and i kind of hate how people have been pushing it as like a way to like without adding that extra thing to push it, be like oh this is why it's bad it's like no this is what criminalization is about right it's about justifying inhumane treatment it is really disgusting and i feel like we have this like our society creates this like built-in tolerance Mm -hmm. of violence exploitation right because people it's kind of weird watching people with covid being like oh my god the pandemic it's so weird like it became so normalized all the deaths i'm like have you not been paying attention to all the deaths and like the carceral system due to immigration like you know it's just like this is what america is and what america does (laughs) Yeah, I mean, as as I think I'm glad that you brought that point up. Point out is like we've been so desensitized to violence because it's like that's what the state wants us to be is desensitized Mm. to violence. Because the fact that like there's just like people who are homeless, like in unhoused in New York, just like suffering and nobody does anything about it is like, oh my god! Like we have like been so desensitized. We're just like a bunch of monsters and like (laughs) not intentionally, but we kind of are yeah exactly and i feel like we rarely sit down to really think about that like 
like when you mentioned unhoused people, like how much free space is there? There's enough food, there's enough housing, there's enough warmth for all of this. And we're just supposed, and then what did, what did we do? What do politicians do? Let's give more money to cops to harass them. Like, yeah. And like, I, it doesn't even make any sense because the whole situation in Rikers, it's like obviously all these people who are there because cash bail, right? And also just like mm-hmm. the idea of bail, which inherently is just like really, really fucked up. But yeah, we have been desensitized to violence. And the other part about that is that the things that they criminalize don't even make sense. You're criminalizing people using the train? Like if they can't afford to, how do you want them to get to work? Do you want them, like, what do you? Right? $3 is more ex- too expensive for you. So let me fine you and put you through this thing. <laughs> like... Hundred... Okay, so you can't afford $3 but you're gonna find a hundred dollars it's literally a trap this whole system is a trap it's all so illogical right it's just so illogical on its head like it's just really frustrating right so it just and then also you're bringing up the whole like class traders like how the, the worker is there and that's such a good point because i think about how they're just so abusive like we know that there's a lot of sexual violence just a lot of like abuse of power no matter what right and mistreatment that we don't talk about and it makes me think about like those annoying like trans panics where they're like oh they're putting blah 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 in the jails with women i'm like do you have you yeah. heard of the guards yeah, <laughs> I'm like, people being abused get rid of the guards and also while you're at it the <laughs> cops when people are always like oh like like the fear mongering i'm like but they're cops walking around they're literal abusers walking around it's like if you were to watch yeah. um like star wars it's like they're the storm troopers like do you want trust the stormtrooper with your child like i don't right i feel they're all friends (laughs) they hang out (laughs) (laughs) yeah like scary yeah brunch of the most evil people on the planet just like chilling coming up with ideas on how to torture all of us it's really messed up it's maddening (laughs) it's it's very maddening so one thing that i have i have to ask so de blasio has not been helpful at all in terms of like this whole Riker situation obviously as we expect I have a question for you do you think de Blasio's children like him there's no way I can't imagine anyone likes him I just don't think I mean like because I feel like they're Gen Z and like I feel like Gen Zers I'm not to like I don't want to put a blanket but a lot of them are more woke than like what I like what we were which is like I'm a millennial and I'm like right. probably just like oh daddy ain't right like I don't know like would you be more embarrassed of your dad being de Blasio or being Trump? Hmm, I think de Blasio. Because I feel like, because I'll be thinking about the like the, the proximity, because like Trump is just him, right? But there was something about de Blasio's trajectory, because I remember the excitement when he was elected and all this stuff, right? He's just, just a punk. He's he just, really uh... is a punk. De Blasio the punk. We should just start, we should get that up. Uh try to get that to be a thing let's try to yes. make the as a punk, punk happen all right um, make it a hashtag, hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> so punk. he's the it's worst March. he's like literally involved in making everybody's life bad we're going to be talking about him a little bit more later but i oh, have good. a final question for you if you have to choose between actually no i have two more questions for you if you have to choose between being friends with a prison guard or a police officer which would be <gasps> why you had to pick you had to this is so offensive. You like you had to pick, but one. they're because they're almost like it's basically the same. It is. <laughs> it is like saying, "Would you rather be friends with like Satan or Satan's sister?" But like, yeah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh God, this, I I would think maybe just a police officer because I feel like they, if they are not total pieces of shit and are actually my friend, they would have more resources to like help i'm always like thinking like how can i use you for good you want help with people who make you mad you want to have a bouncer to walk no, around no. To, like, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no i wasn't thinking at that level wait how would they help you <laughs> for good i don't know they get like lots of money and resource i don't know i feel like there's a no i don't know for the god i'm just like you hang out with people i don't know i hate this question well if i was okay so if i had to pick one i'll tell you who and i'll tell you why Okay, please tell me. I would 1000% pick a police officer because they could teach me how to play Candy Crush because that's what they do all day. (laughs) If you see them, (laughs) if you see them hanging out like by the train station and they're literally everywhere, they're always on their phones and I'm pretty sure they're Candy Crush, like Candy Crush champions. That is why I would pick (laughs) 
<laughs> to have a friend who's a cop over. Okay, okay. That's one useful thing that they could do then. There you go. Okay, but I want to go back to this. So what, what, so you feel like you would pick cops because they have more resources because they do get a lot of money i guess you get one of those really cool like uh prison uh and one of those uh robotic dogs and try to make it your friend <laughs> i don't even want weird. that to be my friend i'm like mm. now your idea of like oh have it go after people i don't like like when i hear the dog i'm like no no, no. let me like see where my ex is like let me <laughs> let me find my middle school bully <laughs> I, like, have a hat show up. oh my god the most atrocious thing that ever happened to me with like cops when I was growing up is that this kid that I knew who was black was dating this girl who was white and mm. the dad did not approve of the relationship. So his dad showed up to this black kid's house in full uniform to tell, to pretty much threaten his family that if he did not stop seeing his daughter, he was like going to do something. I mean, he didn't say it, but. Right. But he said it. Can you imagine using your, like, just using your powers as a cop to, like, say, please don't date my daughter? Like, right. So pressed. Like, they're 12. Chill. Like, they're <laughs> not going to get married. You're making it into a big thing. Yeah, it's, that's the thing about But cops. it's, like, that's how they're messed up. Like, the type of people, types of people who are cops are the types of people who would wear a police uniform to go threaten people. They probably also yep. use it to, like, get discounts. I need to Starbucks. I'm going to like go get my outfit real quick. It's my discount. We should stop giving police discounts. That's another thing that I want to get. Yeah, to. they get paid so well. Mm -hmm. We should and charge like, them more. Yes. Oh my God, a surcharge. Mm -hmm. Like 20% if, if, like surcharge for being a class trader. Yes. If I ever own a coffee shop, I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Okay.